I'm going to go ahead and start the pressure test now with the zipper open and this would be what a normal attic door would look like. Although this one's brand new installed on a very flat surface and it's exceptionally tight. So the number we get here is probably going to be better than you can find in anybody's home anywhere. Okay, right there we are at uh, 50 pascals and the leakage is about 95 CFM or 95 cubic feet per minute. The uh, equivalent leakage area Believe it or not, for this nice, tightly fitting door, is 12.8 square inches. So this is equivalent to having a uh, two foot wide window open half an inch year round. Okay, the zipper's closed, um, the door is closed, the uh, bottle cap is out. I'm gonna rerun the test now and see how much it leaks with the zipper in place. Okay, we passed 50 pascals and I'm still reading low, uh, off scale low on the gauge, so I cannot measure the, uh, the air so, the amount of air coming through is so small that I can't get a reading on it. We're at uh, over 200 pascals now, which is four times the standard, 260, which is five times the standard amount, and I'm still not measuring any airflow. All right, there we're at 350, which is seven times, 400, which is eight times, and I just hit the bottom of the scale, which is um, 13 CFM is the lowest this will read. Okay. So at um, power of 500 passes at 10 times the standard pressure, I'm reading still just the tiniest amount of air. And that may actually be coming through pinholes in my tube. Okay. So that, uh, basically for this test, I would say it's too tight for me to accurately measure.